Hi guys, Assalamualaikum. I know you might be like surprised with this, you know, makeup and appearance. To be honest, uh, let me tell you something about being goth. I'm not, okay, dulu masa zaman sekolah, Emily the Nightmare, the Adam family was big part of my life and I still remember my, uh, one of my older sister, atas I, Kate, she loved Emily the Nightmare like so damn much and dia punya bag sekolah semua pakai Emily the Nightmare. So, from there onwards, uh, aku develop this kind of feeling aku suka to be goth and you know, black eyeliner and stuff is my favourite and it's been a while since I even do this kind of stuff and it's actually inspired by it's Black Friday. On YouTube, I'm going to put her picture right here. She's like the goth queen for me. Uh, goth, goth princess lah. So for me, goth queen is of course Elvira. And then like another goddess is uh, of course Motrisha Adams. So yeah, today we're going to talk about Mor Morbius, the living vampire. Michael Morbius. Okay, hari tu aku tahu Gerard Leto, Gerard Leto dan Sony dah drop the trailer for Morbius dan aku pun dah react. Yes, macam-macam ada and my, people might say uh, Sony is actually building their own Sinister Six and I'm agree with it. Aku bersetuju dengan benda tu sebab kita dapat tengok Vulture in it, okay. And sekarang ni Scorpio masih tak ada, we are, we are waiting for that. And Michael Morbius ni, dia dilahirkan dekat Greece. Okay, yang Santorini tu, yes, dia didahirkan kat Greece dan dia adalah biochemist, okay. Dia biochemist dah dapat Nobel Prize. He won a Nobel Prize. So, that means Dr. Michael Morbius ni, dia bukan orang biasa-biasa je. No, 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 honey. Dia bukan orang yang macam tiba-tiba terkena radiation ke apa. Dia sama level macam Hulk which is, they actually a brilliant scientist, okay. So, basically, one day, um, dia ada this one sakit yang dia, uh, dia ada blood disease tau, Morbius ni. So, from there, Bila seorang scientist kan, seorang yang brilliant kan, dia takkan stop being innovative, innovative tau. Bila uh, Mobius ada disease, dia decided to do experiment uh, which include vampire bat dengan electro shock. Okay, so basically lepas dia buat experiment tu, dia develop that badan dia is actually changing. Changing di mana dia tiba-tiba tumbuh fangs and dia memerlukan blood to survive. So Michael Mobius perasa yang the badan dia berubah dan dia memerlukan blood to survive. Okay, so dia perasa ya badan dia ada taring and badan dia changing from that experiment. So, one day, uh, Morbius aku rasa from the trailer pun kalau perasa yang dia ada dekat dalam kapal. Mungkin uh, that is why orang ada reference to the comic which is uh, Morbius travel from Greece to United States using kapal. Lepas tu dia macam at some point dia rasa macam dia ada blood test. Of course lah macam aku cakap kan dia perlu, uh, he needs uh, Blood to survive. Uh, he need blood to survive and yeah, Morbius lock himself dekat dalam beach house. Dekat dalam masa yang sama, Spider-Man was there. Okay, Spider-Man was there sebab masa tu dia tengah plan, dia tengah try to reverse balik kenapa dia ada enam arm. Okay, I know Spider kan. Okay, so aku tak tahu kenapa Spider-Man masa tu ada enam arm. So, dia decided untuk how to reverse it. Okay, masa diorang nak battle tu, tiba-tiba ada this one guy, Dr. Connor, yang boleh change to lizard tau. So, bila... Um, Spider-Man learn that darah Mobius can revert orang punya pelik balik which is Dr. Connor jadi lizard and dia ada six arms. So basically Morbius punya blood uh, help them to revert balik jadi normal lah. Okay so Morbius ni bila digigit orang dia boleh turn orang into vampire. Okay itu salah satu dia punya uh, things yang dia perasan berubah setelah dia uh, buat eksperimen tu. Okay so that's Morbius. Okay and um, Morbius memang <laughs> Dia bukan calon-calon anti-hero tau, okay. Dia bila ada that uh, ability, dia punya power and ability kan. Dia ada, of course lah, dia the living vampire. So, dia punya enhanced superhuman superhuman power. Dia ada senses, okay. Walaupun bukan macam Spider-Man sense, tapi dia ada his own senses. Dia punya healing factor cepat, okay. Dia punya dia punya healing boleh rege regenerate cepat. Dia boleh turn someone into vampire macam aku cakap tadi. And aside from that, Aside from his being Michael Morbius the living vampire, he's a brilliant scientist. So dia, dia walau macam mana pun, before dia jadi vampire pun, he's a brilliant scientist and dia um, so brilliant in my biochemist sebab itulah dia dapat Nobel Prize. Walau macam mana pun, dia ada juga weakness dia. Okay, weakness dia adalah walaupun orang cakap, the myth cakap yang uh, vampire ni Kalau kena sunlight dia boleh mati tapi Morbius tak. The sunlight cannot kill him but mata dia dengan kulit dia, his skin and his eyes is actually sensitive to sunlight. 
Okay walaupun dia tak membunuh Tapi benda tu adalah weakness dia Okay so kalau siapa nak lawan dia The thing yang boleh help it Which is Berlawan lah dekat dalam sunlight uh, Miaro Morbius ni dia jahat ke kan Pendapat korang tanya aku Dia anti-hero Di mana his Keadaan dia yang membuatkan He have to be like that Macam aku cakap he need to fit Black So keadaan dia yang menyebabkan dia macam tu And certain time dia terpaksa ada jenis jadi mangsa yang tiba-tiba tertransform jadi vampire. Ada yang dia keadaan yang memaksa dia kan. So he, he have to do that. And of course lah dia dengan Spider-Man memang agak dekat. Of course the first time dia jumpa Spider-Man masa dia sampai US pun. We can see that uh, Spider-Man cakap his darah dia yang membolehkan Spider-Man revert back jadi biasa kan. So um, to see Jared Leto as Michael Mobius dia macam really dreams come true sebab We can see that dekat dalam komik Michael Mobius like that and Jared Leto sebijik gila. So, yeah. Um, I'm really excited for that. And aku harap Sony betul-betul fokus kalau diorang buat Sinister Six. I hope this is a good start and kita dapat tengok ada Vulture dekat dalam tu and dia bukan jahat tapi keadaan memaksa dia untuk menjadi macam tu. So, bila dia uh, set, uh, hurt people, of course lah orang akan nampak dia sebagai jahat tapi sebenarnya dia tak. Dia terpaksa buat macam tu kan. So, dekat dalam komik pun um, Okay, dekat dalam komik pun selain um, Spider-Man yang rapat dengan uh, yang dia selalu fight dengan dia Human Touch dekat dalam Fantasy Four pun uh, one of the character yang banyak membantu juga sebab uh, Michael Mobius punya fiance decided masa Michael Mobius hilang masa dia flat uh, jumpa Spider-Man tu masa Michael Mobius hilang his fiance minta tolong uh, Fantasy Four so of course lah masa tu Human Touch cakap okay Spidey ada this one guy bla 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 so Spidey Decided untuk Okay aku tolong So jumpa balik Michael Mobius Diorang That's that's the thing tau Dekat dalam komik tau That's a certain villain Yang korang akan jumpa Again and again and again They flat So um, benda tu macam Not new to me And not new to you guys Even kalau Avengers pun Korang perasan There's a lot of villain Yang keep returning Again and again and again So um, For me I, Aku kesian dekat Tom Holland lah If really dia Macam kita tengok Yang spider Spider-verse uh, Sony punya Bukan Spider-Verse yang kartun tu. I mean the Spider-Verse sekarang yang real uh, life action ni. We can see that yang lawan-lawan yang akan lawan dengan Spider-Man ni. Berat-berat ke? Vulture. Um, Michael Morbius. You know. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson gonna be in this. Okay banyak gila yang cakap. Oh there's a report. Hearing that. Aku rasa macam bila the report. Maknanya betul lah tu. You know. So I really looking forward for that. That's the uh, gist for Michael Morbius. Sebab. Kalau korang nak tahu, there's a lot of um, komik-komik yang Michael Movies muncul. Dia muncul pada tahun 1971, The Amazing Spider-Man. So, korang boleh baca, korang boleh berhomba sebelum the movie keluar. And, yeah, I mean, this is the new era for vampire. There's no vampire yang shining nampak bila nampak matahari. This is the vampire that we want and I'm looking forward for it. So, yeah, guys, take care. Be forever. Stay safe. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.